r this point or name it a i have to get point a, a b place it my uh, place the drawing compass at r further extend it to point a this is my a and have an arc that's gonna be like uh, this want to touch here i'll indicate by an arrow i got this arc going anti-clockwise so this is going to be my point b <coughs> right then from point b to this point eh? because this one is the one that is going up up until it gives me this point this one this one let me you see this point so this point is still the same as what is that one so this one check it it goes straight go straight straight up until to this point so and the i am low uh, 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 my line of penetration must uh, must be connected to this line of mine this one this one so i want to connect the what the line of penetration to this line you understand so go back to your top view so that is why i'll have to have points from this point and to that one that is why i had to take this one vertically down so that it will guide me so that it will guide me where do i have to end you understand so now i'll take my drawing compass and open it to three millimeter three millimeter this is five four this is three millimeter this is three millimeter you understand three millimeter you understand so after getting my three millimeter i come back to my what to my top view there by point b there by point b i come and mark from point b three millimeter three millimeter three millimeter you understand <clears throat> so i've got a point here got a point here then i've got a point here so i can name this point one point two point three you understand so after that uh, we'll see whether do i have to end uh, uh, continue with this point or what We'll see at the end of that. So now, what we are going to do, we are going to project this point of mind, point one, point two, point three. So now I will project them up, up until they touch the what this line of mine. Once they touch this line of mine, thereby my friend view I stop. So I'll take. I'll firstly consider what my point b so that it gives me what point c isn't it there it goes once it get here there by my friend view once it gets there this point we can name it point c and we are going to take point c there by our friend view c horizontal so once it cross the what the say the vertical center line that is actually starting right from your top view course so that point is going to be point h stand for the highest point there is no any point we have to get okay so from there let's go back to our top view take point one vertical up there you go once it gets there Take it horizontal. Actually, this is going to be not H. It's going to be point L. Stand for the lowest point in this one. We do not have H. This point is going to be my lowest point. There is no any point below than this one. I supposed to get. You understand? So that one is going to be my point L. I'll stand for the lowest point lowest point that we can get okay yes it's clear then now let's come back and take this one we said is now point c and point one come back to what to top view take point two 
up there you go then once it gets here this is my point this is point two and I take it horizontally there you go then point three which is this one go back to your top view point three there it goes once it touch there once it touch there I can go horizontal so then uh, because I can see that there is a gap there is do you see that from this point uh, three there is like a, a gap a gap which means I can go back to my top view and what and add another three millimeter so that it would be uh, coming close to what to that line of mine but for now let me leave it for now let me leave it let me work with these four points which is b one two three you understand so after that take your drawing compass go back to your top view take your drawing compass place it at r further extend to point one to point one striking arc that's gonna behave like this so then once it touch the outer part which means I got a point here which is point one even this side which is point one so project these points up to your top view up until they what they they touch your 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 up until they collect they collide with your what with your point one on top on, on, on your front view how there you go so where is the line of one where is the line of one this is it so which means I have a point right there check this is one which means I have a point right here yeah, man. which is point one one and the one so go back to your what to your top to your top view Place it at R, further extend it towards to point 2, which is this one, R and 2, so there you go, so which means I have a point right there, which is point 2, and right here, which is point 2. I want then project them up thing to go this is the line of two there by your top view this is the line of two eh? and as well as this one so which means I have a point right there and this is one two this is two and a point right here which is point two how about point one we did not take uh, two point one take it which is this one take it vertically up so that you have a point one this side this is L this is one isn't it so now point three place a drawing compass at point R the external 2.3 there you go <coughs> once it gets there I have a point there which is 3 even this side which is 3 so you project it up from here going up faint must intersect with what with point three so there you go even this side take it up there you go so the line of three which is this one the line of three is this one there I have a three there I have a two here I have a three right there so do you see the now Uti 
these points they are I have a, a, a big range from here till there. So which means I have to go back to what to my top view and extend these uh, lines of my I mean these points of mine so that uh, this gap this uh, gap that seems to be huge it will be what it will be decreased it will be small so go back to what to your top view and continue you end at eight three is in get point point four this is it from here to this three millimeters three millimeter like this so I can come and say three four five and six do you see that it is ending exactly so it shows that we are actually at a right track so three four five the last one is six so let's consider this point and see what are we getting so from there we are going to take them up 0.4 take it up vertically there you go want to get there by your front view which is which sway is this one isn't it so i have a four now here once you get that four you right here you project it horizontally there you go right go back to what to your 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 top view complete this top uh, uh, point four of yours by placing your drawing compass at r further extended to point four that you just got now so there you go so just a little bit there you go faint eh? Then from there, I want to touch the outer part of my top view. I have a point for there. There it goes. I have another one here. There you go. So I'll project this point for up towards my front view. So that is going to collide with the point there with the, the line for there. I have another four now. Check. There I have another four, which is a four there. Even this side, right from my top of view, this one from here, project it upwards to come and what and what and meet the what the line for to give me point four right there. So it always becomes simple when you number your work. When you number your work, your 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 solution it will or your your work it will become simple. So do you see that I still have another range? So go back to your top view and get rid of 0.5. So by placing your drawing compass at R, further ex to, uh, extend it toward to 0.5. Okay, firstly, project it up vertically. Remember. Isn't it? Like this. You position it nicely. Uh, if five is this one so five there you go right five eh? this one vertically up towards my front view so is the point five it's a right there it's simple eh? when you, you deal with point by point point by point it is simple once this five gets here you are going to project it uh, or take it horizontally there you go so I go back to my top view again and place my drawing compass at 5 at 0 eh? not 0 R further extend to 0.5 which is this one there you go isn't it so which means I have a 5 here and and a five right there so this five eh, supposed to be projected up up until it's meet the what the line five from here there you go 
so which means I have a 5 right there which is 0 0.5 I will 5 because this is the line of 5 even this side projected right from here up until to my up there by your front view the line of 5 is this one so so there you go you understand so the very last point which is point 0.6 eh, is already there so there you go what do we know is that we, we, we have to project it up from here there you go let's do it so it's actually this one it's actually this one you understand so once you touch there you are going to project it horizontal horizontal so there it goes there it goes which means this one has to be further extended till down here just a little bit just a little bit so the point six is actually the last point which will, when we do it because once check this let me explain it now place it at r further extend to point six there you go so once it get here which is six isn't it so it's gonna go like this it will be the same six even this side so once it get here you take it up it's gonna meet the line six even this side once it gets here you take it up it's gonna meet the what the line six you understand then after that you can have this there you go you can take your your, your what to call your flex curve or you can join them freehand like the way as I'm doing you are not going to get penalized mm. so there you go till at point L so that's how you get the line of your penetration there by your front view this is the front view this is the top view so that's how you get the line of penetration so thank you very much guys for watching that was me Mr. Ngozi see you on the next video if you have a question let me down there on the comment please support the channel guys by subscribing and like the video you are watching at that moment and give it a comment even if it's just one way to comment your comments sometimes are very encouraging you understand so let me see the question did they ask you to draw the what the left view but sometimes they don't ask about the left view if they ask you have to show it how about the left view the where's the question they didn't say draw the left view and those two views they were given according to first angle of the graphic projection which means this is a uh, front this is top eh? so your left view it should be expressed right on the right view away from your front view so thank you very much guys for watching that was me Mr. Nkosi, see you on the next video. Okay.